What's going on, everybody? It's Davey from the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop. So park your ass right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. Also, if you check the link below, you'll see a Patreon account. You click it, you can become a member. All you got to do is try, recommend movies and music and trailers for me to react to. Now, with that being said, we are here today with a little bit of Dragon Ball manga shit. You know what I'm saying? So what we got going on today is I am going to be reviewing Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 72. Now, we are diving deep into the um, Granola arc, and we're finally seeing what this mofo is capable of. This boy, Granola, don't play. He's low-key, a little bit of mixture of everybody, a little bit of hit, a little bit of freaking overpowered-ass Goku and Vegeta and shit. It's, it's little things that he does that kind of re reminds you of other characters, right? So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So, at the beginning of the chapter, the chapter opens up. Goku's talking to like half of the heaters, uh, I think Magi and I forgot the other guy's name. And they're basically saying, well, Granola over there, he, he's over there in them hills, he's chilling. Like, you know, just go over there and handle that. We're going to stay back because, you know, we don't want to get in the way. You know, they're playing that game. So Goku and Vegeta head over there. And these are the, this is the part that was leaked earlier in the month. And all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. Granola just starts shooting. Just crazy, rapid-fire key blast. He's doing that sniper attack. As you know, the Cerulean's, they're snipers, apparently. they shooters. <laughs> uh, they some real uh, freaking Cerulean goons up in this thing. And Vegeta's like, yo, we need to just go ahead and find the source of where these energy is coming from. And he's going to be there. So they're like, Goku's like, fine, bet, let's go. So Goku and Vegeta both head that way. And when they finally get there, they realize, like, yo, like, this dude is moving ridiculously fast. Shots are coming from the air. All of a sudden, we go down to the ground. Like, now they're coming from the ground. They're going back to the air. This dude, Granola, is moving ridiculously fast. And they're like, damn, he's moving faster than we can sense him. So, finally, they go down, and Goku thinks he gets Granola. He goes, bam, shoots the key blast. And Granola comes back and kind of low-key introduces himself. So, Vegeta makes a remark that he thinks that it's instant transmission but goku's like nah whatever this fool got is faster granola's like yo i ain't really get this move this move a name yet i just know i can do it right so granola's just on some cocky shit because obviously he made the wish he's not he doesn't know what these moves are he just has them right and so he's moving ridiculously fast and goku and vegeta are both dodging the key blast goku slips up bro gets popped in the back of the neck bah Goes down, boom. This fool Granola targets and hits one of Goku's vital organs in his neck. Goku's down for the count. This fool Vegeta, oh man, Goku's down. He's like, I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm going to have to use the Sensu Bean already. Vegeta gets the Sensu Bean, gives it to Goku. Boom. Goku wakes back up. They only got two Sensu Beans, so now they got one. And hopefully that one is going to be for freaking Vegeta. So, Vegeta and Goku, Vegeta's like, Goku, go handle that shit. And Goku's like, what? You, you telling me that you don't want to fight him first? Vegeta's like, nah, that fool popped you in the back of the neck, bro. Get your, you know, get your get back. So Goku's like, all right, for, for well, whatever, you know? So Goku goes ahead and gets ready to fight Granola. I low-key think Vegeta did this strictly only to, like, observe Granola and try to find a weak point because he realizes how fucking strong this guy is. So he's using Goku as kind of like a test dummy, kind of like how Goku does with, <laughs> with Vegeta, right? Vegeta's like, uh-uh, not today. You're going to be the lab rat. I'm going to study. And... Goku, what, what Goku does is something very unique. Oh, before that, Granola does something really unique to Vegeta and Goku. He uses this freaking attack that Vegeta and Goku both said is reminiscent to destruction, which is reminiscent to the Hakai technique. So I ain't gonna lie, about a month ago, I was talking shit to people because they were like, yo, this fool's using a Hakai. This, this fool knows Hakai energy. And I'm like, nah, hell nah, he don't know no Hakai energy. But apparently this attack is similar to that, which is very, very interesting. So Goku's like, fine, I'm catch fade. Goes down. He's getting his one-on-one -on -one with Granola. Granola's like, both of y'all stupid because you really going to find me one-on-one -on -one knowing that I'm damn near stronger than you. Even the heaters are on the sideline. Like, why are they fighting alone? Like, they should be fighting together. Goku squares up with him. And what Goku does is really unique. He stacks Super Saiyan God. He fights him in Super Saiyan God. But then he stacks... Ultra Instinct on it. Now, I'm not saying he stacks the Ultra Instinct transformation on it. He's stacking the technique of Ultra Instinct. He's kind of using the instinct of, of using the the technique of Ultra Instinct in the Super Saiyan God state, right? He's not mixing together transformations. He's using what he knows 
the essence of super, uh, Ultra Instinct, and he's using it in a Super Saiyan God state, which Vegeta says is basically sharper because within the power of transformations, apparently the Ultra Instinct is getting sharper. So, we'll carry on. These two are fighting. Granola and Goku are going at it, right? It's like, you know, Granola's impressed with Goku's speed, but what ends up happening is that he ends up hitting Goku. Like, you see him go like this, like, uh, it looks like he's hit strikes. Go he's about to strike Goku in the stomach, but he, and then Goku's like, wow, you know, <sighs> like, that was crazy. You almost got me there. And then all of a sudden, Goku ugh, falls down, body, bro. Um, so far, Goku takes two L's in this freaking fight against Ranola, which is very, very different. We were hearing about these leagues that Goku, that somebody was going to take two L's or that two L's were going to be given out. I didn't think Goku was going to get back-to-back -back L's. Keeping it a buck here. And so Goku goes down, and Granola says that his right eye is super advanced to the point where he can see the blood circulation in Goku's body and target the vital points of his body. And he also, his eye is so strong that he can also see that Goku's holding back. So Goku transforms again into Super Saiyan Blue. Him and Granola are going at it. Vegeta is scoping out the landscape, and he's trying to remember who the hell these Ceruleans are. And he's like, damn, you know what? I heard something about a race of people with advanced right eyes. And, ha and ha you know, I've, I've heard of this before, right? And all of a sudden, at the end of the fight, while Goku and, you know, Granola are going at it, Vegeta looks down on the ground and he sees a big old giant ape footprint, you know? And he says, oh, I think I know who you are, right? So that's the way the manga chapter ends. And I'm so pissed off that it ends like that. Because it leaves you on a freaking hell of a cliffhanger. I wanted more. I wanted a lot more. Um, another interesting thing is that Granola told Goku, why don't you transform into that stupid monkey state? And then Goku's like, well, you know, we don't do that no more, but we have other te transformations that are much more powerful, right? And the cool, like I said, the cool thing about it is, even in the heat of battle, these two are still competing. Uh, Vegeta's like, you know, like, I'm trying to prove that the God of Destruction's uh, technique is stronger than the Angel's. So you go ahead, get your ass whooped, and I'm gonna show you how it's really done, right? I'm gonna keep it buck. I am very I'm more interested in Vegeta fighting uh my man Granola. And the reason why I'm interested in, about these two fighting is because since they both have techniques similar to Hakai, I thought that was really cool. Also, in the middle of the fight, he mentions Granola mentions Frieza. And Goku's looking at him like, why are you mentioning Frieza? Like I like you seem like you don't like the bad guy we were told you were the bad guy what the hell's going on but granola's so pissed off and he's so like stubborn and wants his revenge that he's not listening to what goku's saying because if he would have listened to what goku's saying then he would have realized that you know well he can't be with frieza right and he thinks that goku's playing dumb but obviously goku's not we all know this uh we know that the heaters are basically using granola so i don't i honestly don't know what's going on to keep it a buck, I really think that it's a possibility that the heaters are going to use the Dragon Balls and they're going to power up Gas. And I think Gas is going to be the one to fuck these fools up and he's going to be the real antagonist, maybe, possibly. But I mean, it's called the Granola Arc, so it's kind of weird. Um, it's kind of weird if uh, they kind of pass the torch to somebody else. That'll be kind of weird. But this is the cold part. I really hope they find a way to reverse um, Granola's uh, wish because, like, let's keep it a buck. He's a very interesting character. I love his techniques. He will be dope as shit in another tournament of power. You know, I'm really hyped about this character. So that's my review on the Dragon Ball Z manga chapter. I think it's dope. I think it's one of the best freaking manga panels and chapters of this arc so far. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to this shit to be animated. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. Whatever the case may be, drop it in the comment section down below. And you are now exiting this in my chop shop. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Adios, homies.